Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. If you've clicked on this reading then there's something in it in this reading here that is meant for you. So I honestly believe that you have been guided to this reading, that you have been nudged in the direction of this reading or you know there's a message in here that is meant for you for your ears whether it's a message that you've been receiving time and time again so it's just maybe validating what you're feeling and what you already know maybe it's something that you need to be reminded of uh, maybe it's something that needs to reach you and needs to speak to you here but i believe that the things that we're drawn to the very people the things the circumstances are by no means random or coincidence they we are we you know we are drawn to them for a special reason so that's what I believe. But in saying that, just be mindful that this is a general reading, so it's not specifically tailored to your situation. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. My email address will be listed below the video here. So um, I'm just going to give the cards a shuffle and I'm just going to see what messages come up. I'll also be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards as well. So we're not necessarily posing a question or anything as such. We just want to see what messages the universe here, the tarot guides, want to communicate with you. Okay, so maybe it's something that you need to hear right now for whatever reason. Okay, I can see why, I feel like I can see why some of you really need to hear this, okay? Because your peace of mind has definitely been threatened. You have definitely been going through a very turbulent or tumultuous situation. In fact, it's a bit of a tower moment here. So whether you're actually, you know, um, experiencing a storm within your romantic relationship or within your own in energies as an individual you're going through something that has definitely it feels very uncomfortable it feels very tiresome here and it feels like it's really testing you it's testing your strength it's testing your patience here so I can see why you're open to receiving messages here Okay, and the universe is trying to send you a message. It's always trying to communicate with you. Those messages come in the forms of dreams, symbols. Um, it may even come from conversations that you may overhear, quotes, tarot readings, um, billboard signs. Okay, the universe is constantly communicating with us. Sometimes though, well actually a lot of the times, the messages can be really personal between you and the universe. That's why it can be really hard to interpret because it's a message that's only solely meant for you and only you can understand what that message truly means. Um, so you also have to be mindful of that. But in order to receive these messages and truly understand what they mean, you have to be receptive. Now, for some of you, I'm getting a strong energy of waiting. You've been... There's something here that you've been spending a lot of your time waiting. And I don't even know if you realize this. That it feels like... You're either waiting for something, you're waiting for the right time, the right moment, the right opportunity, the right set of circumstances, the right person. You're waiting to send that, to find the right words. You're waiting for something here. And I feel like what the universe wants you to know is sometimes the time, like the timing is, and I always say trust in the divine perfection of the universe and its timing, but sometimes it just so happens we need to make the time right for us because for some of you listening and hearing to this I don't want you to spend the rest of your time 
waiting for something and in you know waiting for that person to reach out and connect with you or for that right opportunity to make itself available to you sometimes you know you close yourself off in waiting for that person or that opportunity you close yourself off for um from other opportunities or from other possible compatible romantic energies here because it's to me i feel like you're always waiting for someone or you're always waiting for um that person to become interested or that person to respond to you or you know you're waiting for that person to finally realize just how much you truly love them and how much they're truly you know are destined to you and i feel like a part of you will always be waiting for them but i just feel like if you are going to wait for someone it's probably a good idea to give yourself a time frame okay because for some of you i feel like here you are, you're waiting for someone's feelings to catch up with your own. And I don't know that it's going to ever happen or I don't know that it's going to happen within your timeline here. Look, for some of you, yes, there is something or someone that you're waiting for. And honestly, if the universe is making you wait, it's because it's probably worth the wait. But for others of you, I just feel like you've been waiting for something too long and it just hasn't happened yet. And I just don't want you to cling to a sense of, you know, a false hope here. Because you're ceaselessly waiting for someone. Okay? And it feels like it's not today. It's not happening today. It's not happening tomorrow. So it might be a good idea to give yourself a time frame. Or to at least release their energy and just allow things to happen naturally here. I'm not saying you should lose hope, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that um, maybe it's a good idea just to, you know, especially if you believe that destinies are meant to collide and that things are meant for you and destined for you at the, at the end of the day, especially if in your heart you wholeheartedly believe that you are meant to be with this person. Maybe not right now, maybe years down the track. If that's what you believe, hold on to that. Don't lose hope. Uh, don't lose hope but at the same time let them go because if your destiny is meant to collide and if your paths are meant to cross eventually you will find each other once again and the universe will bring you back together again but to do that you need to let them go and you need to trust in the universe okay the universe won't disappoint the other thing is if there is something you've been waiting on like commu um, communication especially as referenced by the queen of swords instead of waiting make and as i've mentioned you know waiting for the right time maybe make the time right um, right for you maybe you send off that um that text message or you make that phone call here because you're all this waiting is just driving you crazy and this not knowing this uncertainty it's just Look at the multitude of swords here. You're just chasing your own tail and you're going around in circles here. Okay, so I feel like some of you... It's, you know, it's up to you to take it upon your own self, to take matters into your own hands here, to initiate the conversation, initiate that communication or make the move. Okay, because it just feels like... You, you might keep waiting for decades because days are going to pass into months and months are going to pass into years and years may pass into decades here and you'll still be waiting. So sometimes it's really good to, you know, just take it upon your own self. Now, I've mentioned if you are experiencing some sort of storm, okay, if you're going through an inner storm or if you're experiencing a storm with a romantic relationship or a close friend now understand that not all storms come to disrupt our path some storms come to clear our path to you know show us someone's true colors to show us the truth of a connection the truth of something here and the reality is the tower is really a blessing in disguise because it's an opportunity for you to do some renovating okay so whether you need to renovate uh, for instance, like clear any old um, like negative beliefs, get rid of any negative emotional patterns, get rid of any toxic energies in your life, or get rid of any persons that you know you've cut ties with, but you still hold room for them in your life. Okay, it's time to declutter, to renovate. It's time to build a much stronger and healthier, um, sturdier foundation. Because look, okay, you know after a dark night there is a brighter day. You've got. The lover's card so if you're going through something grow through it because essentially 
this relationship that you may be in, this person that you may be involved with, yes, they could be the wrong one. But the reason why you're involved with the wrong one is because that they can put you onto a path with the right one. Or maybe it's because they're not a wrong they're not the wrong one, but some you know, the, the way that you're going about this connection is maybe not necessarily right, the both of you. So it's whatever is happening right now and this, you know, tumultuous, turbulent energy here, this storm, this tower moment, it's happening to better you, to improve you and improve this connection here. You know, invest, invest in yourself and prioritize your happiness here because the universe does want to send you abundance of happiness and abundance of blessings and, you know, prosperous energies here, but you need to be able to welcome all of that into your life. You cannot, okay, you cannot spend your time worrying about something that might happen and hasn't happened, okay? It will not serve you positively. And any feelings of guilt, shame, hurt, or regret that you might carry inside of you, okay, that's running around in your subconscious. And that's what's keeping you up at night. If you want to know why you're having trouble sleeping, why you're having nightmares instead of, you know, dreams here, is because there's a lot of your subconscious here is being burdened with a very heavy energy of pain, hurt, remorse, guilt here, you need to clear all of that, rid yourself of that, okay, so, because we don't want running, we don't want, like, any of these energies or unforgiveness running around in your subconscious, because it shows up, it shows up in different ways here, so just before we go, we just want to get a few more messages here, okay, for you to hear, maybe, let's see, you know, what's going on with this tower moment, what do you need to know? Communicate clearly. Okay, so there we go. Okay, communicate clearly with yourself and with your connecting energies here. Okay, and it's not just verbal communication. It's also with, you know, um, energy wise as well with your thoughts, your feelings. Communicate clearly your intentions, your motivations. What it is that you're feeling, thinking. There's something better. There is something better for you. So after every dark night, there is a brighter day. And even though things may not be that good now, there is something better in store for you. There is. You just don't see it now because your vision here is being veiled by the darkness and the heaviness of what's going on. But the clouds of gloom and doom will lift and there will be a bright, you know, um, sun shining at the end here. There is something better. You just have to trust it. Trust in the process. Okay. Within the next few months. Okay. So look. Within the next few months, there is something better to come. Whether with this energy, whether with something else here, you just have to keep the faith. Okay. It doesn't matter how religious or how spiritual you are you just have to keep the faith trust that you deserve better trust that there is something better because the universe is working tirelessly behind the scenes to bring you all the best um, opportunities available to you especially when it comes to love and romance but if you're in an energy field where you're not able to recognize that and you're just blocking yourself off from receiving all of this good Okay, you won't be able to see all of the blessings that want to come into your life. Okay, sometimes through misfortune, there comes an abundance of fortune and you just need to trust it. Okay, there's a saying that, well, I'm paraphrasing now, but you know, some people are like, I'll see it and then I'll believe it. No, you need to believe it and then you'll see it. Okay, and only a few know the difference there. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Um, hopefully these messages have reached, if not all of you, at least some of you. Hopefully there's been something here that might have helped you, or at least is giving you a little bit of comfort and ease here. Okay, um, if you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, please show your support by subscribing, liking, sharing, or commenting. Your time, your attention, and your support, guys, is greatly appreciated. Thank you, um, and I will be catching up with you later in the week. Bye for now.